Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Solid Gold Scripture Journals and I'm Marcy's. I'm going to show you one of my gold scripture journals. This was a book that I bought on Deseret Books and I had it on my phone. I don't have the actual book. I have the download of the book on my phone. And the book was called and is called 52 Life-Changing Questions from the Book of Mormon. I'll show you a picture of the actual book here. Oh, I was just really into gold this day. I made a cover for the book myself. 52 Life-Changing Questions from the Book of Mormon. You know what else has 52? 52 weeks in the year. So every week you could go through the book there's a question in the Book of Mormon, and then there's stories and scriptures and ways for you to answer those questions. I want to just go through the book and show you some of the different questions and tell you about how I decided to do this book. So I was sitting there one day looking in my craft room, and I had a ton of craft supplies, in particular scrapbooks and scrapbooking paper and all the scrapbooking things. And I didn't know what to do with them. So I was thinking about it. I was driving in my car. That's when I get a lot of good inspiration personally. And I thought, well, my son's in kindergarten, so I'll go through and I'll give a whole bunch of stuff. I'll, I'll donate it. I'll find places to donate it. Like maybe the kindergarten needs it. And so I was going through and then I was also thinking, I want to do some fun scripture journaling things. Like, wouldn't that be so cool if I did really cute, pretty scripture journaling things? And then I thought, I have all these papers that I'm never going to use for scrapbooking. There's just too many of them. So why don't I take a bunch and give them away and take the rest and make it into a scripture journal. And this was the first, one of the first things I did. And I answered all these questions. Oh, look here. I even made a temple out of some silver paper. So it was just really, really fun for me. And every week I did one. And for sure, some weeks I would get behind, but then I would catch up. And I'll flip through the rest of the book and I'll tell you what happened to me at the end of the story. Okay, I'm just having a little fun here. I was starting to learn how to do some beautiful uh, lettering with the brush pens and it just looks really terrible and I've improved since then so that's fun it's fun to look back on what I learned in the scriptures it's also fun to look back on my craftiness <gasps> look my lettering's getting so much better here all right so I was coming to the end of the year so exciting. I'm almost done this book. Such a feeling of accomplishment. It's Christmas. I'm using all the, the shiny Christmas papers I had. And then I went on to read the last chapter of the book and it had more questions, more Book of Mormon questions that they weren't going to actually write out the scripture and give you the history and give you the stories and do all the things. Now you had so much practice. Now you could do all these on your own, all these scriptures. There's 15 more weeks of it. And I was simply done and too exhausted. And I thought, I'll just come back to it someday. And today is the day. So for this week, I have decided I'm going to do seven book, more Book of Mormon questions. And then I can go back and do a few more another time. So um, I'm going to show you all of the paper that I still have left. So, And then I will go about making some more pages. So 
So my plan is to look up 1 Nephi 1746 and then read it. So it's something about hearts and then just see if I have a heart here or perhaps I could see taking this and maybe making the shape of a heart with some white paper. I, I'm just not sure, but it's going to be fun every day to come up with a scripture to study. So that is what I will be doing for the next week. I hope you will join me. And I hope you get what you need from your scriptures today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.